All right, hey guys. So we're gonna talk about um, structural functionalism, right? So structural functionalism is is really like it's just a big, it's a big fucking club. It's called the macro theory, is what it's called, right? So you have your macro theory, right? So there it is. You have your house. Remember your house. You have your institutions, right? Your social groups, your roles. And your statuses, okay? All right. So what what happens with your oh shit? I just ruined the bed. Um. So what happens with your social groups? Well, what happens with your social groups is um is that and and all in your house, right? So you have your institutions, your social groups, your roles, and your statuses, right? Think of it like a pecking order type thing. So your with your say if you're in religion, all right? So you're in a religion, right? So when you're in religion, you have to marry. You have to marry the. You have to marry God. You have to marry the church, is what they call it, right? So with your when you marry God, you have a different social group, right? So your social group is mainly like the people that hang around the church and blah blah blah, right? People who who are around the church, right? So so far we have, right? So people who hang around the church have different statuses, right? Some people are priests, blah blah, blah the left hand, right hand, all female, and all that stuff, right? And then each person who had a stat has a status has a role, correct? So if you think about it that way, it's just like a church, right? You marry religion, right? Your social groups is like your priests and all that kind of stuff, and your and your uh, nuns and all that stuff. Then you go down to your statuses. And your statuses are like what job you're doing, like you know, it's just kind of it's it's something that you know we already talked about. That. And then your roles are like, what are your roles in the church? What are your roles within that society? Because religion has their own society, right? Like, people who go to church have, like, they're, like, they have their own specific beliefs. And mainly, if you're in the same religion, you have the same beliefs. You have the same social, like, social, like, like you're, you stand by the same social thing, right? So that's just kind of how I think of st structural functionalism, right? Um, each part... Of the house, right? Do you remember what we were talking about? The house with the institution, social group, and statuses, right? They they influence one another, right? So if I'm a doctor, right, my social group is going to be a bit different than a guy that drives a transport. Do you know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with those two jobs. Don't get me wrong, but there's just going to be a very different. They're very different people. You know, I mean, it'd be really stereotypical, but people who are doctors, they tend, you know, drink wine on Sundays, and they do whatever rich people do, right? Because they are rich. Truck drivers might sit home on Sundays, go to church and watch NASCAR. You know what I mean? So, and people who watch NASCAR are also mostly in the same social group because they like it. And then their social group, and what's their status in their social group? They might be, like, they might be a father, they might be a worker, they might, you never know, right? And then each status has a specific role, like your role as a father, your role, it, it's, it's really anything, right? I didn't mean to be stereotypical there, but and but every single piece of the house, remember your institutions, your social group, your status, and your roles each have a function. There's a purpose for each one. Your institution isn't just necessarily your workplace. I'm just because it's a good example. Your institution could be like your like the like your religion, your job, your uh, economic status, your it could be anything, right? Like there's tons of tons of tons of new institutions. Like it could be what like what sport you play for example like hockey per, hockey players football players baseball players they'll hang out with their team right and their team is basically who they hang out with right so we'll think of it as our class right so our class are we, we all are students right we all are in education right so we're all in the same class right because we are all we're all in education right now we're all in the same class right and then each person in, in our group has a status which is a student right and each the roles of our of being a student is hard work. You know, you got to do your work. You're trying to get your certificate, diploma, whatever you want, right? You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like that. I hope that made sense to everybody. But if it didn't, fuck you. But if it did, good on you. All right. Thanks, guys.